what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? After 24 years of marriage, Dr. Dre and his wife, Nicole, are calling it quits. TMZ reports that Nicole filed for a divorce on the grounds of irreconcilable differences. Dr. Dre and Nicole has two grown children, so child support will not come into play here. But what will come into play is Dr. Dre's mass fortune. Dr. Dre is reportedly worth $800 million because they don't have a prenup. It looks like Nicole could be getting half of the money and it doesn't seem to be a problem. It is California and California is strong on spousal support, which is what she's asking for. Woo, that's a lot of money. Now, I'm not going to focus on Dr. Dre and Nicole. I want to talk, I want to focus more on prenups and divorce. When you got that kind of money, or you're making that kind of money, or you got the potential to make that kind of money, you want to kind of protect yourself, right? Now, Nicole wasn't there from day one. Well, let's, let's, let's take her out of the equation. But let's say a woman was there for, she wasn't there for, from day one, but she was there for 21, 24 years of your career. You know, Dr. Ray been making money for a long time. We're talking over 30 years. And he's been with that woman for Nicole for 24 of those years. So if you got a guy that's been with a woman for 24 years, a woman's been there for 24 years, that's a st substantial amount of time. Should the woman get half? Is that fair if the man earns the money? Well, what if the woman earns the money? Is it fair? Women, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well, she is. She was there 24 years. Yes, she deserved half. Put the shoe on the other foot, woman. Women, what if the shoe was on the other foot? Would you be cool if you knew that Oprah amassed a fortune of, let's say, $4 billion? Should Stedman get half? Because they've been together for over 30 years, I believe. Should he should he get half? Should he get two bit should he walk away with two billion dollars for being her spouse? What if it's your homegirl? What if it's you? What if you work your butt off? And let's say you amassed a fortune of, I don't know, a million dollars. What if you just what if you had a million? Would it be fair? to give the dude that you're in a relationship with half of that money if he hadn't worked for any of it. Let's say you're a lawyer and he hasn't tried, he hasn't litigated any cases. He hasn't stayed up in the wee hours of the night working on cases, calming the nerves of clients. He hasn't went back and forth to the courthouse arguing with judges being challenged by defendants, getting strange looks by who are the uh, plaintiffs and victims. How should that go? One thing that must be done, fam, if you think you're going to get the money, get to the bag, I would say sign a prenup. I used to be against prenups. 
How you say, ah, oh, man, you know, you get married, man. It's too, marriage is it's, it's based on love, and you know, I got married around the time, right around the time before this. People started playing double dutch with marriage. You know, they jump in and out now. Just jump in and out, jump in and out, jump in and out. So let's say you meet somebody, you fall in love. It's easy to pretend for a couple of years. Some people can pretend for longer than that. And let's say you got the bread and this person you meet, maybe they're doing all right but they ain't got the kind of money you got. You put in a couple of years, do they deserve that kind of bread? Nah, I don't think so. I'm signing a prenup. If I ever get married again, I'm definitely, I'm definitely signing a prenup. No doubt about it. I don't mind sharing some of the bread. I don't mind giving a woman some bread, but she don't get half. I'm not giving up half to nobody. I'm giving it all to my kids. All of it. <laughs> so, any woman in there with me, you know, I'll take care of a woman. If I'm with a woman, you know, I'll take care of her. I'm, I'm going to make sure she's straight. I'll make sure she's straight, right? But she's not going to walk away like she wrote these raps or like she, uh, you know, wrote any books or made these real estate deals, or sat here and did any of these podcasts or videos. No, no. I make sure she's straight, you know? And she'll get a little, she'll get a few meals out the deal, but it ain't gonna be like no, it ain't finna be like half. Y'all think I'm wrong for that? Drop a comment. I'd love to know what you think about this. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Damn.